Hey, Alina here from Estimate Mastery. Super excited to come back with part two of the artificial intelligence video series that I've been creating lately. So if you've missed part one, go check that out. It's over on the channel, Estimate Mastery. Go search that on YouTube and you'll find last week's video. For now, let's go take a look at how we can integrate some of the artificial intelligence information into Xactimate. I was talking all about chat GPT. Now chat GPT, some people love it, some people hate it, but at the end of the day, it does give some really good information and do a lot of research and save you a lot of time. So if, again, if you're more interested in that aspect of the AI and what's going on in the world, you'll want to check out video number one in this series. In this video, what I'm going to talk about is how to use the tool and then how to take what it spits out and put it into Xactimate so that you can use it instead of having to have blank page syndrome, or maybe you don't know what to say, it can cure a lot of issues by doing the research itself. So first things first, how do I use the tool? Basically, you go to chat.openai.com. You can see that here on my screen. If you're on a mobile phone, it might be a little harder to see, but it's chat.openai.com. And then you just get started with a new account. So I use my Google uh, information and just open an account. And what's cool about it is it saves all of your chats as you build a history. So I can go back and be, you know, say, oh man, what did I search on on that OSHA requirements, which is what I have on my screen right now, and go back and look at all the past searches that I've done. It's a beautiful thing. So I really, really advocate just getting in and getting started using this tool. So a couple of things that you need to know here. I'm using the free version right now of ChatGPT and it's learning is limited to June, 2021. So what does that mean? Anything that happened between June, 2021 and today, which it's now 2023 when I'm making this video, you might be watching this a little bit later in the year here in 2023, but it won't be able to give you any responses that are relevant to any current events or current updates to code, manufacturer specs, OSHA requirements that happened between June, 2021 and your present day whenever you're watching this video, right? So if you'd like to see the most current up-to-date research that ChatGPT can give you, you'll want to upgrade to plus. So you can actually upgrade right as of today it's $20 a month. Maybe that'll change in the future. But as today, when I'm making this video, it's $20 a month, which I find to be super reasonable for the amount of time and effort that I save by using this tool. So if you upgrade, then you'll have access to all the current whatever month and year you're in right now. That will, will give you the most current and best response. So now that I've upgraded, I can now see all of the current and most relevant information. You can see right here, I have chat GPT-4 or GPT-4 here. That's the most recent model. And again, if you're watching this in the future, there's other versions that will be released. But as of right now, that is the highest and best version that they have. All right. So now that we've got our chat GPT going and we've learned about the limitations, if you have the free version, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use some of this information to make it relevant for Xactimate. So for example, I have one in here that talks about when a roof sheathing is recommended to be replaced. Okay. So in that last video, I don't want to cover what I've already covered, but basically you can ask chat GPT, you know, things like, why can I not use a water-based, uh, you know, paint over or latex based paint over oil paint, something like that. And that way you can see that with the adjuster, if we are, they're asking us to add latex paint, but it's an oil based, uh, you know, paint that's on a baseboard or a door, we need to go back with like kind of quality. So that helps with some of those issues. With this one, it was a sheathing issue here. And um, the deck was just smashed by how many times they've had their roof replaced. And really it was no longer considered a solidly sheathed deck, but we wanted to get an opinion on what ChatGPT thought, how many times a roof can be replaced without replacing the sheathing. So it just informs that uh, information for the why behind why we're asking for the sheathing on the roof. So for example, if I was to be working on a live file, I would go ahead and go to the sheathing, whichever is required in your area. Some places you use, they require five eighths or that's the standard. And then let's say we needed uh, 200 square feet, just for this example. Um, pretty much if one part of the roof has bad sheathing, the whole roof probably needs to be resheathed. But for this example, we'll just click OK. And so I've added that to my estimate. Now, I already know the adjuster is going to come back and say, no, we're not paying for sheathing. So what I, can I do to overcome that objection immediately and stop a back and forth conversation is I can go ahead and go to the notes section right here. 
And then I can copy and paste whatever verbiage I find to be useful. Now, this first paragraph mentions exposure to moisture, rot, any of that. Eh, we don't want to stay away from that language. Um, but I like this sentence here. Each subsequent roof replacement may increase the risk of damage to the sheathing. And it is important to have a qualified professional, blah, blah, blah. I, that could work with that. So I can copy that or whatever, you know, you find useful. I have some stuff on OSHA in here. Um, we've got some things about the, uh, about code requiring things. Um, anything can be copy and pasted. Requirements for ice and water shield. Uh, we can pull that out. But yeah, I can copy and paste anything that I find to be useful to back up my case as to why I'm asking for something. So I would come in here and I'd pretty much change the end of the sentence here to say, I'm the restoration professional. I have inspected the sheathing and determined that it is no longer a solidly sheathed surface or a nailable surface for the nails to adhere to the roof deck. So that's something I would put here. But what ChatGPT did, it didn't really give me a copy and paste there, did it? But it helped me formulate a sentence that if I was left to a blank page, this would never get done. Like I would just get frustrated and just send off the estimate. I'm like, I can't even deal with this right now. But what ChatGPT did for me right there is inform how I could make this note something that's useful. So a lot of times it may not be a direct copy and paste, you know, verbatim, but it informs and helps your brain kind of chew on it and be like, I like that part, but I need to add this. It's just so helpful to overcome the blank page syndrome. Going back to the ice and water shield issue. Uh, what are the requirements for ice and water shield being added to a roof? This is something that you probably could copy and paste some of this. Uh, talks about ventilation as well. It's interesting here. Could inform a why we need to install more vents situation. So, you know, copying and pasting right into that line item note for ice and water shield. Let's get that added here just really quickly. We could double click, open that up. Go ahead and add our note that we like. And then what I wanted to show you is you can save the note for later. So if it is a direct copy and paste, it's probably something that you want to use in the future. Even that note that I had edited about the sheathing could be saved as a note to use in the future. So all you need to do is click on this little save note, name it, ISO Water Shield, maybe chat GPT note. <laughs> that helps you know which note it is. And then we can go ahead and save that there close that. And on any other estimate where I want to pull that out and use it, I'm not going to open another estimate, but you get the idea. Anywhere else I want to use that on in the future, I can go back to that note area, go to the load note, the little rubber stamp tool, and then I can search up here for my ice and water shield notes. So this search actually is something that I am super excited about and uh, in our note templates field here, because you can see how many I have. I have over 250 and finding them was quite difficult. So now we can actually search for our notes and see what we would like to add. And we've got the chat GPT note, left click OK. And there we go. We can add that note going forward and it's there for our use. Now, one last thing I want to do before I let you go is I want to show you how you can go ahead and run a new chat. So let's say that we're looking for the requirements uh, for why we need to pressure wash before we paint. So I just typed in there, what are the requirements to clean an exterior surface before painting? And in the past, we've gone to um, Sherwin-Williams to get the document that states, because it's a manufacturer that kind of holds some teeth. But here you can say that uh, it, with ChatGPT, it'll help you explain, maybe even if you don't know why, you're like, yeah, why do we do that? So it's really good to not only inform yourself, but also to inform the adjuster. In this instance, I, I'm glad it did this. This one wasn't so great. It's telling me how to do it. But it does say at the very top, to ensure a proper paint job and maximize the longevity, it's important to thoroughly clean the surface. So when it spits out something that isn't quite so useful, you can do a couple of things. You can go ahead and regenerate the response, but that's going to use your original question here which may not have been a good question. One of the learning curves about using ChatGPT is what prompts will actually be the best and highest use rather than you just asking a question. You have to know how to prompt it to give you what it, you actually want. So the other thing that we could do here is just rewrite that question a little bit better. So it tells me that it's not quite grasping what I'm looking for. So let's try this. Why should I pressure wash the exterior of the home before painting? Let me put wash here. And just put that in there and it will think about it. And it gives you, aha, this is a lot better, a lot better reasoning. And I love number three, preps the surface for proper adhesion. Paint needs a clean and smooth surface to adhere properly. By pressure washing, you remove loose peeling paint, any contaminants. That's it right there. That's what I was looking for. So that's kind of a learning curve that you have to get used to when using ChatGPT is if it spits out a nonsense answer, 
don't don't stop there. Or if it it just you phrase the question in a way that it doesn't really know what you're looking for. It causes you to go, hmm, how can I say this a little bit better? And then once you get the right prompt, it's amazing what it can provide. So I would totally take this copy and paste it right into the line item note like I just showed you. And it's a beautiful thing because I've eliminated the blank page syndrome and I actually learned something in a better way of saying what I needed to say to the adjuster. So when he sees that pressure wash and he reads my note, he goes, ah, okay, that's a good point. She makes a good point there rather than just saying no. And one last thing, just so you know, it does save all of your searches over time. So each of these searches will be located inside of the topic that you start with. So if you're going to start another topic, please go start a new chat. It's so much easier to find things if they're not stacked over and over and over again. And it took me a little bit of time to learn that. So be sure to start a new chat if you're starting a new topic. That way you can go back and find it in the future because they'll all be here for you on the left-hand side. So that's it. That's pretty much the easiest thing that you can do. Go search in ChatGPT when you don't know what to say or why a line item should be used. Go look in ChatGPT, dig in, get some really good prompts in there and get some really good answers that you can copy and paste into your estimate. The other thing that you can do is remember, go back and look at those saved searches. So if it comes up again in the future, you don't have to go find the right prompt. You've already done the search. So be sure to utilize that history there that's on the left-hand side of ChatGPT. Hope that was really informative for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that was useful and how you're using ChatGPT or if you're going to get started using it. Would love to know in the comments down below. Also, if you like this topic, please like this video. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to know whenever I release a new video every Tuesday. I've got a lot of good topics coming up and I don't want you to miss out. So hit that subscribe button. My name is Alina Wilson with Estimate Mastery. Thanks for being here with me today. For more information on the Xactimate training that we have for contractors, go to estimatemastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.